what is your name, please? David Smerden. And for which country are you playing? Australia. And what is your current rating? Oh, it's a good question. Uh, 2475, <laughs> I think. Here we go. Okay. Would you rather be living in a tree house or a houseboat? Houseboat. Are you more vegan or more carnivore? More vegan. I did attempt to be vegan for two weeks and my doctor told me to stop, but I'm still more vegan. I need to talk to you. Yeah, that's another story, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, would you rather be having a personal library or a personal gym? Personal library, no question. What is your favorite drink? Uh, it used to be a caperinha, but I'm not going to say that anymore for your junior listeners. I'll say <laughs> an, an Aussie... A virgin caperinha. Uh, no, okay, even yeah. better, an Aussie lemon lime bitters. Aussie yeah. lemon lime yeah. bitters. If you go to the pub or the bar, but you don't want to order alcohol, that's the acceptable drink in Australia. Lemon lime bitters. Now you know. When playing a classical chess game, do you need to drink plenty of water? Yes. And I go to the toilet suspiciously often. Do you have a lucky pen for chess? I did. I lost it. <laughs> I used it in my game against Magnus Carlsen. And then the next day, oh no, the next week, this is true, my bag got stolen, which had my lucky shirt and my lucky pen that I used in the game. Gone forever. Also suspicious. Would you rather have a job you love but earn little or a job you hate? Uh, the first one, the first one, definitely. Are you a tidy person or more chaotic? Chaos. <laughs> like my chess. <laughs> Would you rather be able to teleport or read minds? Teleport, definitely. Reading minds, I think, would lead to a very depressing life. <laughs> Would you rather understand and talk to animals or fly for one hour a day? Animals. What is your favorite country to play against? Hmm. I'm going to give a very boring answer, but the best thing about the Olympiad is seeing so many different countries, and I'm the guy who talks to the opponent before the game. You know, not the one who just like has the stare. Yeah. I always have the asking questions about their life back home. So I, the answer is, I just love all the countries. I'm sorry, very boring. And with this, we end the Olympiad. Thank you very much for watching. No, let's not have some more questions. Oh, okay. I was even looking to... I was like, signing off. I love okay. that text right. so much. That's why. If you have to change the chess piece colors forever, which colors would you give them? Orange and green. Perfect. If you could solve chess like tic-tac-toe, would you share your knowledge? No, and I would wipe it from my brain immediately. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually planning a book in the future called Solving Chess, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah, but no spoilers. You heard it here first. The best series ever made is? Boston Legal. <laughs> You're having a road trip with a famous actor or actress for 10 hours. Who is it? Margaret Robbie from Australia. I'm sure she would have a lot of interesting stories and she wouldn't care about my accent. <laughs> Which three chess pieces would you take on a lonely island? Uh, edible ones. <laughs> Chocolate chess pieces. Would you rather play a chess tournament in an elevator or in a bus? Oh, what a good question. <laughs> a bus, presuming that it can still move, than a bus. And which chess-based version do you own? I'm a 16 guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm always a little bit behind the fashion trends. So That's you know. totally fine. That was so enjoyable. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks a lot. That was great, Anna. Awesome, awesome. Right.